Two Wheels TV is proudly powered by Broadlink, delivering serious bandwidth for serious business. Brother, print, copy, scan, fax, label, and so much more, and TRP for Bridgestone Tires. Welcome to the show. This week in the Broadlink Bike Test, we ride the KTM 1050 Adventure Bike. We also have X-Fighters action from Greece, so hold on tight. This is the final day of the KTM launch of their new adventure models in Hazy View. We spent a day in the wonderful surrounding countryside on the 1290 Super Adventure bikes, but today we have a chance to ride his little brother, the 1050 Adventure. We're joining seven motoring journalists from around South Africa as they take in these beautiful roads and great motorcycles. And they're a friendly bunch, as you can see. What a surprise this bike has turned out to be. Although not touted as an off-roader, it is more than capable in the bush. Physically a lot smaller than its bigger brother, 1290. And Bill Hunter even seems to be enjoying the gravel on the 1050. The forests of Mpumalanga offer a feast of great riding areas and the pristine rivers and trees are a pleasure to ride through. Look at that crystal clear water. This bike has got mag wheels instead of the usual spoke that you find on adventure bikes and that does indicate that it's more of a road bike. Yet, somehow we found it to be more than capable and more than happy in the sand. But the 1050 is actually aimed more at the commuter stroke touring market. So we've also had a chance to ride it in the twisties of Mpumalanga and really enjoyed this part. We've just been out riding the 1050 Adventure in these beautiful surroundings in ET and I th must admit I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the 1050 Adventure. Incredible machine. But let's see what the other journalists think about this and especially compared to the 1290 Super Adventure. It certainly surprised me. It's nimble, more, more agile than you'd think looking at it for the first time. A whole lot of fun, very rider friendly. Um, gets a little skittish when pushed very, very hard, which is part of the fun. Um, I was surprised by how nimble it was, how light it felt, great power delivery. Once again, with that V-twin engine, it's just a brilliant motor. Um, but all around it was, it really surprised us all, I think. Um, it's one, it's not only an adventure bike, it's not only just a day-to-day -day bike. If you put some panniers on this, put the misses on the back, you'll do proper touring as well. So I think and as an all-round bike, this is really, really good value for money and surprisingly coming from KTM. Um, the 1050 is a lot lighter and um, much more manageable, I think, than the 1290. It's a much more basic bike, but for that reason, probably, uh, a much more enjoyable machine. Uh, it handled the twisties beautifully. Um, it was less intimidating than the bigger and heavier 1290, uh, and it lacked possibly the really planted feel of the 1290, but uh, apart from that, it's generally just a much more pure and enjoyable bike to ride. It was a great ride, it was a great bike, and uh, the whole launch was actually a tremendous fun time.
Man, another tough day in Africa. We've just spent 300 odd Ks on the 1050 adventure. And although it wears the adventure badge, it's completely different to the bike that we rode yesterday. In fact, chatting to all the guys sitting here under the trees, um, there's no comparison. It's not bad, it's not good, it's not anything. It's just a totally different class of motorcycle. Where the 1290 is big and cumbersome and, and built to eat up 300 kilometers in a day with ease and absolute comfort, the 1050 is more like, it feels like a motard, even though it's an 1100cc bike, which is not small, um, compared to the big one, it's just so much fun, it's nimble, it's not a serious motorcycle you can jump on and go. It's one of those everyday bikes that's no hassle to ride. It's got such a beautiful little engine, revs cleanly up to 8,000 RPM, sits at 200 k's an hour all day long, um, and it's just fun. It's a different class of motorcycle, as simple as that. That's all, folks. Next time around, we'll be visiting Aldo Scribanti for ZX10 Masters Cup action. Remember, stay on two wheels. Broadlink, delivering serious bandwidth for serious business. Brother, print, copy, scan, fax, label, and so much more. And TRP for Bridgestone Tires.